Hi, everyone. I'm James Garbutt. And I'm Denny Dumas. And this is the Garbutt Dumas Real Estate Podcast. It is January 2022. And guess what that means, guys? BC assessments BC are out. BC assessments are out. <laughs> These are always somewhat confusing documents and numbers. And uh, I think a lot of consumers maybe who haven't transacted very much or never at all in in Greater Vancouver real estate have nothing really else to go off other than these BC assessment numbers that the local governments send out to you every year telling you what they think your property is worth. And obviously there's a few very important things to note when looking at a BC assessment. The first is... It is calculated in July of the previous year. So we are now in January 2022. This is the government's assessment of your property as of July 1st, 2021. And obviously, if you paid attention to Greater Vancouver Real Estate, you understand that these markets move very quickly and things can change very quickly. And the fall was uh, no joke in terms of low inventory and prices climbing. What are common questions that you hear buyers, sellers ask about BC assessments? Because people do talk about them quite often and bring up BC assessment. And and I I think it's fairly natural for a realtor in Greater Vancouver to just kind of dismiss them because of the uh, inconsistencies, I'd say, in terms of actual market value. Right. So we'll start with buyers. Often buyers will look at a listing price and they'll ask us, wow, why is it listed $100,000 more than what BC assessment says it's worth. And there's so many reasons for that. But at the very bottom of those reasons is the fact that BC assessment is for tax purposes only. And BC assessment says that it's for tax purposes only. And like you mentioned, it's, it's already old. It came out a few days ago. It's already six months old. So that's pretty much the most glaring reason as to why it's usually not spot on. But the... BC assessment doesn't know about updates. They don't know about best locations in the building, if it's a strata, for example. Um, Yeah, they don't know about anything about the property except for the lot size and maybe the bedroom count, which isn't always correct. So they don't take into account any important marketing aspects of properties whatsoever. It's important to understand as a consumer, this is a computer-generated number that takes into consideration recent sales, price per square foot in a big area and slaps a number onto your condo, your townhouse, your home for tax purposes to assess you property tax. And that is really it. We in When we do podcasts talking about listings and marketing listings, we talk about the difference between list price and sale price is often two very different things. The difference between list price and market value. And it's the same with BC assessment. BC assessment is... For lack of a better tool, the way that the government charges you property tax, and it does not relate to market value in any way. And often we get the question from buyers and sellers when we explain that BC assessment is not necessarily a a great way to evaluate your property is, well, what percentage is it up or down? And there really is no great answer to that question because the numbers are all over the place depending on each specific property. You can't even generalize saying, okay, Port Moody condos, on average, they're 10% uh, lower than what market value is. East Van Homes, on average, they're 8% lower. And I'm going to give you some examples here. So Port Moody condos, the last three Port Moody condos, the uh, BC assessed values were 12.5% lower than what it sold for, 19.5% lower, and 4.4% lower than what the home sold for. So understand that when you ask for <laughs> an average, <laughs> it's all over the place. One is 20%, one is 12.5%, one is 4.4%. When you look at Port Moody homes, similar story. The last three sales in Port Moody, the uh, sale price was 17.8% higher than BC assessment, 7.5% higher, and 31.4% higher. So again, three very different numbers, and it's really difficult to take an average from from a sample like that. And then we look at uh, just some other neighborhoods in, in Greater Vancouver. 
False Creek condos, the last three sales were 9.1% higher than BC assessment, 1% lower than BC assessment, and 1% higher than BC assessment. And then uh, just for curiosity's sake, East Vancouver homes, the last three sales were 14% higher than BC assessed value, 1% higher than BC assessed value, and 10.5% higher than BC assessed value. So <laughs> I'm so glad that you looked these up because this is a really, really common question. And we've gone through some highs and lows with BC assessments when it comes to buyers and sellers thinking they carry value um, in market prices. One reason maybe for the 1% below BC assessment is there could have been a really low sale. It, there could have just been one sale in the building. It could have been really low and it could have been for a number of reasons. It could have been tenanted. It could have been trashed. Like there could have been many, many reasons why BC assessment thought that it was low. Um, something else to keep in mind is that BC assessment, they usually call us if they're a little bit confused about what the price should be of a property, especially um, older properties, older stratas. I get a lot of calls for um, BC assessments because they're just kind of all over the place. So they do try to do some research and call us and get an idea of why different properties sold for different amounts. But at the end of the day, um, it's such a blanketed general value. It's more of um, it's more of a starting point with value. And for detached homes, it's usually due to lot size, room, like the amount of rooms and the um, finished square feet. And that's really all they can go off of. It's important to understand that no one from BC Assessment or from the government is coming into your home and walking through it and... With residential real estate, a lot of the purchase, especially when young couples, young families are upsizing, is it's a very emotional purchase. So it's a feeling when you walk in the door. It is, does the layout work for my family? What updates have the homeowners done? And all of those things are not taken into consideration in BC assessment. Is like a, like we said, it is a computer algorithm that spits out a number to, to charge you to property tax. So if you're thinking of buying and selling this year, or potentially refinancing to pull some equity out of your home, chat with a realtor that knows your market really, really well, and they will be able to give you a very accurate, well, let's say pretty accurate because numbers are kind of moving all over the place right now, so a pretty accurate number of what your home would be worth today. Um, but I think is it. Yeah, it's just um, know what the BC assessment means and know what it's used for, and the tool that BC assessment is meant for is for tax purposes. Giddy up. 